and with more. After giving the Australian bowlers a battering last Sunday, Ian Botham started today's match in much the same way. He made a quick 25 before Richie ended his innings with a spectacular catch. And well caught. War won't be needed. Greg Ritchie has done the job with an excellent catch at Backwood Square. The Australians have been working hard on their fielding and it seems to have paid off. Gower's wicket was the third to fall. Gower this time. Ouch! Yes! Doesn't find the gap. The consistent Chris Broad was having another great day at the crease, but after making 53, was caught by O'Donnell. It's a catch. Brilliant catch. The Englishmen were beginning to struggle at four for 120 and made only one more run when the next wicket fell. And change of mind there from Alan Lamb. And a good piece of work. Stephen Waugh's throw right next to the stumps. In the early stages of the game, Botham had boosted England's run rate to just under five and over. But with wickets tumbling, the Australians had contained the English batsmen and put themselves back into contention. Lamb decided to make an assault on the 200 mark and was starting to look confident, but on 35 was caught behind by Zura. Big appeal, and he's got him caught behind. At the end of that the 50 overs, England, after a promising start, has given Australia a target of 188 for victory. And Channel 9 will return live to the cricket at 7 o'clock tonight after Willisey. Tony Jones, National 9 News.